How can you build your numbers on Twitter? Boy, I'm asked that question all the time. Hi, I'm Cindy Morrison, and actually there are some very simple things that you can do that will hopefully bump up your numbers. One way you can do that is to begin to follow back anyone who follows you. So you look here at Twitter. I've had about 20,000 tweets. I'm following 15,000. And I have um, almost 14,000 followers. Now, you may ask why I'm following more than is following me. That's because, oh, sure, there's some stars that I follow that haven't followed me back. Or there's some people that I'm uh, strategically following who uh, don't traditionally follow people back. But I'm a big believer that if somebody is um, interested enough in you to follow you, you should follow them back. So you'll begin to follow anyone who is following you that does not appear to be spam. So just go through and follow these people and do this, you know, maybe ever so many weeks. So um, you make sure that you're opening the conversation. Another way that you can build your following on Twitter is to use a hashtag. And here's an example. You can see this pound sign, that's a hashtag, spark and hustle. This was a six month eight city tour that I was on. And in order to help all the women in all the eight cities connect, anytime someone sent a tweet out, they would include the hashtag spark and hustle. And that way you could actually keep a column running of all those, uh, those tweets concerning that particular topic. All right, so how do you create a hashtag? Believe it or not, you just make it up. For instance, I could do a hashtag that is socialvention. And we'll just say, I'm explaining hashtags to my Facebook fans. Shooting a video right now. Now, I didn't register this hashtag anywhere. I didn't, you know, nothing. Basically, I just made it up, something that was easy for people to remember, and then tweet it out. Now, I always suggest you use TweetDeck, and one of the great things with that is you can just come up here and add a column, and you can come up with any, for instance, when I was at the Massachusetts Women's Conference, I would watch all of those hashtags so I could see what basically the conversation was going on behind the conference. So while a speaker was speaking, maybe somebody was um, talking about what a great quote that is or somebody who wasn't at the conference but wanted to know what was going on could follow this hashtag. So hashtags are a great way to begin to connect with people and find a topic that you're interested in and begin to follow other people within that topic. And the final way to get more followers is to be engaged. So whenever someone mentions you in a tweet, answer them back. Um, talk about other people. For instance, um, I'll say I'm shooting a video about hashtags following those who follow you and being engaging. Um, what are your tips for building more followers? And I'll just tweet that out. And when people respond to that, um, then we can actually begin a dialogue. And as people see that you're engaged with your um, followers, engaged with your current buyers or potential clients, um, they really will begin to spread the word to their followers about you because then you're really worth following. Those people who follow you are your sphere of influence. Kind of exciting, isn't it?